if optimists can, can watch videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos or how-to videos or whatever, and based on that video, just like a human can, uh, learn how to do that thing. Elon Musk said in an interview on CNBC, Tesla bot Gen 3 has shattered all limits by learning any skill from YouTube videos without programming. With over 100 cameras and the AI power of the Dojo supercomputer, how breakthrough is Gen 3's video learning speed? Could this be the turning point that changes how robots work in the future? Before we begin, please help us reach 8,700 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How does Tesla Bot process information and learn autonomously? Tesla Bot Gen 3 is rapidly establishing itself as one of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world, thanks to its ability to learn like a human. Instead of simply following rigidly programmed commands, Optimus learns by watching an enormous leap forward that even competitors like Figure AI, Agility Robotics, or Boston Dynamics have yet to fully master. Elon Musk once said that if a human can learn how to do something by watching a video on YouTube, then a robot should be able to do the same. Tesla has turned that vision into reality through a comprehensive self-learning process where every human action becomes a visual lesson for the robot. The self-learning journey of Optimus begins with its visual system. The robot is equipped with an array of cameras and sensors covering its entire body, allowing it to collect image data from multiple angles. When a human performs a task such as folding clothes or opening a cabinet door, these cameras capture the entire action as raw visual data. This information is then processed by neural networks embedded in each individual camera, enabling the robot to recognize objects, estimate distances, classify movements, and understand the context of actions. Each camera functions like an intelligent eye, and together they help the robot construct a comprehensive picture of the scene it is observing. What makes Optimus truly special is that it doesn't just see, it understands. Tesla's central AI system can connect visual information with intended actions. When the robot sees someone place a glass on a table, it doesn't just memorize the hand movement. It understands that the goal of the action is to complete a specific task. This allows the robot to adapt flexibly, rather than acting mechanically. For the same action performed in two different situations, Optimus can adjust its speed, grip force, or movement path accordingly, something traditional robots struggle to do. Once it has understood the action, the robot moves on to the practice phase. With the help of advanced control algorithms and real-time feedback sensors, Optimus begins to replicate the actions it has learned. Each attempt is a new learning cycle. If the robot makes a mistake, the system records it, analyzes the cause, and self-adjusts. The data from each attempt is fed back into the neural network to improve future performance. This is the principle of iterative learning, a continuous process that humans also rely on from early childhood. Make mistakes, fix them, and do better next time. What's truly astonishing is that once one robot learns something new, the entire fleet of Optimus units around the world can do it too. Tesla benefits from a massive data ecosystem collected from its electric vehicles, robots, and AI infrastructure like the Dojo supercomputer. This allows every breakthrough by a single robot to be instantly shared with millions of others through software updates. If one robot learns how to wipe a table in the US, robots in Germany, Japan, or China can replicate that skill just a few hours later. This dramatically cuts down training costs and accelerates global deployment faster than any competitor in the industry. Currently, other companies like Figure AI are also working to develop robots that can learn, but they still mostly rely on step-by-step -step instruction methods, meaning robots must be explicitly programmed for each action. Boston Dynamics, though famous for their dancing and acrobatic robots, has yet to implement a fully observation-based learning system like Tesla's. In contrast, Optimus can watch just five videos of someone folding a blanket, analyze the hand movements, adjust the sequence, and then perform the task without the need for line-by-line -line code. More importantly, it can improve the quality of its actions with each repetition, thanks to deep learning integrated directly into its central neural network. Another feature that gives Optimus a distinct advantage 
is its ability to learn solely from videos with no need for specialized sensors or complex control code. Just watch and do. This opens up the possibility for robots to learn tasks as quickly as humans do. They could learn to clean a house, serve a meal, provide medical assistance, or even care for the elderly, all within a few hours of observation. This is the breakthrough Elon Musk believes will make humanoid robots an indispensable part of everyday life, just as automobiles once replaced horse-drawn carriages a century ago. If Tesla maintains its current pace of innovation, it is very likely to become the first company to bring humanoid robots to consumers at an affordable price. With a projected price tag of under $10,000 per unit and human-like learning abilities, Optimus is no longer just a machine. It becomes a co-worker, a household helper, or even a trustworthy companion. And it all begins with a deceptively simple learning method. Just watch a video and learn how to do it exactly like how we pick up new skills from YouTube every day. Once again, please help us reach 8,700 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How does Tesla control the risk of bot learning incorrectly from video training? One of the key breakthroughs of the third generation Tesla bot lies in its ability to learn from video, allowing it to observe, imitate, and improve behavior, much like how humans learn through experience. This forms the foundation of the embodied AI system that Elon Musk is developing, where the robot is not just a machine that follows commands, but an adaptive entity capable of developing its own skills. However, while video-based learning brings enormous potential, it also opens up a range of alarming risks. One pressing question arises. Can the Tesla bot learn incorrectly? And if that happens, who will be held accountable? Unlike traditional robots that follow rigid programming, Tesla bot learns by imitating real-world images and videos similar to how Tesla's autopilot is trained on billions of kilometers of real driving data. But there's a critical difference. Autopilot operates within a limited rule-based environment on public roads, where traffic laws are clearly defined while TeslaBot functions in human living spaces, where behavior, context, and ethics are far more complex and difficult to quantify. This makes the risk of incorrect learning from video a serious concern. Imagine a specific scenario. The TeslaBot is trained through video to learn how to care for the elderly. If it comes across a video demonstrating the wrong way to lift someone or improper hygiene procedures, it could replicate these dangerous actions in real life, posing a threat to users. Or consider another example. If the robot learns inappropriate behavior such as slamming doors to open them, climbing onto stoves, or even mimicking a dangerous prank seen in a social media clip, the consequences could be severe. Unlike humans, AI lacks instinct or moral awareness. It cannot distinguish between harmful actions and satirical or playful ones. The risk of incorrect learning lies in the nature of accessing uncontrolled data. The Internet contains billions of hours of video, but not all of it is accurate, safe, or appropriate for learning. Even if Tesla uses a carefully filtered and curated data set for training, risks still persist, especially if future models are updated to learn from real-world environments or from their own onboard cameras during operation. At that point, human supervision becomes extremely challenging. An even more complex issue is the legal dimension. If the Tesla bot learns inappropriate behavior and causes harm to people or property, who is liable? This is a question that current legal systems have yet to clearly answer. In traditional scenarios, the person directly controlling a vehicle is responsible for any accidents. But when a robot's actions are the result of autonomous learning without direct human intervention, accountability becomes ambiguous. Tesla could be held liable if the problem stems from system design, training algorithms, or data filtering procedures. However, if users allow the robot to access uncontrolled video sources or deliberately train it inappropriately, they may also bear responsibility. In reality, we may soon see legal disputes arise around AI robot behavior. Just as tech companies have faced lawsuits over biased algorithms or privacy breaches, Tesla could also be sued if a robot causes an accident based on behavior it learned from a video. This calls for the creation of an entirely new legal framework for learning-capable AI defining roles, limits of liability, and oversight procedures clearly. From a technological perspective, 
Tesla can adopt several mechanisms to reduce the risk of incorrect learning. First, by building a controlled learning system, only accepting data from trusted sources that are carefully labeled, quality checked, and ethically sound. Second, by integrating behavior assessment algorithms, the robot learns not just how to lift a person, but also when to lift, what is dangerous, or in what situations to seek human assistance. Third, by establishing parallel monitoring systems where every learned behavior is logged and can be reviewed or verified by users or technicians. However, a deeper solution lies in developing value-aligned AI, a model that learns not only actions but also the ethical frameworks behind them. This is an extremely difficult problem since moral values are cultural, contextual, and often subjective. But without this capability, robots will remain as mere smart imitators dangerous when their input data is flawed. The Tesla bot's ability to learn from video is a revolutionary leap in technology, but it's also a double-edged sword. It opens enormous potential in labor automation, human support, and even life-saving scenarios. But if not tightly monitored, this capability could also lead to serious consequences, especially in real-world human environments. For this reason, a tight integration of technology, ethics, and law is essential to ensure that what the Tesla bot learns will not become a threat, but instead serve humanity in the best possible way. What is the current pace of Tesla bot production? In June 2025, the first images of the Tesla bot Gen 3, also known as Optimus, neatly packed in a shipping crate quickly spread across social media, marking a major turning point in Tesla's journey to commercialize humanoid robots. The sleek and professional packaging design not only showed that Optimus was ready for real-world deployment, but also reflected a high level of maturity in the manufacturing process. It was a clear signal that Tesla had moved from the lab testing phase to pre-commercialization, with the robots now being sent to production facilities or labs for field trials. According to internal sources and several analysts, Tesla aims to produce around 10,000 units of Optimus Gen 3 in 2025, primarily for internal use at Tesla factories such as Fremont, Austin, and Giga Mexico. Starting in 2026, the company plans to ramp up production to 100,000 units per year and could reach a capacity of 500,000 units by 2027 or 2028 if the supply chain remains stable. These are extremely ambitious figures in the field of humanoid robotics, especially when competitors like Figure AI and Boston Dynamics are still producing at limited volumes of only a few hundred units annually. The image of Optimus in a box not only serves as a symbolic milestone for the project, but also demonstrates that Tesla has mastered the final stage in the production line, large-scale packaging and distribution. On the technical front, Tesla has cleverly leveraged its existing automotive manufacturing ecosystem to shorten production time and reduce costs for Optimus. Many of Optimus's components, from the 4680 battery, electric motors, and motherboard to the control software, are shared with Tesla vehicles like the Model Y and Cybertruck. This sharing strategy helps reduce robot production costs by nearly 25% compared to building a production line from scratch. For example, the Giga Texas factory not only assembles cars, but can also expand its operations to manufacture parts like the robot's legs and arms, using the same large casting technology Tesla employs for vehicle frames. What truly sets Optimus apart from its competitors is its ability to self-learn. With a computer vision system and deep neural networks, Optimus can learn tasks such as folding clothes, cleaning, or assembling components simply by watching videos or observing humans perform them. This is something robots from Boston Dynamics, like Atlas, or those from Agility Robotics have not yet achieved. In particular, Optimus's AI system is built on the same foundation as Tesla's full self-driving software, allowing the robot to learn from billions of real-world video frames collected by Tesla cars on the road. This means Optimus is being continuously trained even without direct human interaction which gives Tesla a massive edge that no current competitor can replicate. Another major differentiator is Tesla's pricing strategy. While the Atlas robot from Boston Dynamics is expected to cost over $120,000,
and figure AI's figure 01 ranges from $70,000 to $90,000. Elon Musk has stated that Optimus Gen 3 will be priced at just $15,000 to $18,000 when mass production begins. This is a shocking figure for the market, leading many analysts to believe Tesla could dominate the humanoid robot sector early on, just as it did with electric vehicles. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.